The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Siblings in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Savior Jesus Christ passed from death to life, we gather with the whole church throughout the world, across time and space, in vigil and in prayer. This is the Passover of Jesus Christ. Through light and the word, through water and oil, bread and wine, we proclaim Christ's death and resurrection, share Christ's triumph over sin and death, and await Christ's coming again in glory. Let us pray. Eternal God, in Jesus Christ, you have given the light of life to all the world. Bless this new fire and increase in us a desire to shine forth with the brightness of Christ's rising until we feast at the banquet of eternal light through the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we were together in the church, we would light the Paschal candle, a reminder of the presence of the risen Christ among us, even in this dark hour. Because we don't have a Paschal candle, I will invite you to light a candle in your own space, and I will do the same. The light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, all heavenly choirs of angels. Christ has conquered. The risen Savior shines upon you. This is the night in which the true Lamb is slain. This is the night. This is the night in which the children of Israel were led through the sea. This is the night. This is the night in which all who believe in Christ are renewed in grace. This is the night. The holiness of this night restores joy to those who mourn and humbles earthly pride. Therefore, this night, O God, receive our praise for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. May Christ the morning star, rising from the grave, shed light on the whole human race. And we pray, O God, preserve and protect your church, giving us peace in this time and forever. Amen. In ancient times, the church would gather at dusk. We would stay up together throughout the night and keep watch, sharing stories of God's redemptive work for the world. And we would stay up through the night, awaiting the morning dawn, and then joyfully, with the rising of the sun, share Holy Communion together in celebration of the triumph of Christ over the grave. This night represents sort of awake, you might say. Christ is in the tomb, and yet we proclaim the mystery of resurrection, hoping against hope and praying that God's promise will indeed come true. I invite you all to keep the vigil this night or this day uh, as best works for you. We will have a number of stories uh, taped on our YouTube channel. Uh, they should be in this playlist uh, for you to watch throughout the day. Uh, stories presented by members of our congregation. Uh, there is also in your Easter Vigil Bulletin a suggested 
schedule for keeping the vigil throughout the day. Uh, all, the, all the way from when you wake up uh, to even the very stroke of midnight. Please feel free to use these videos and the schedule or uh, the other readings provided to keep the vigil uh, as most is as most meaningful for you. Uh, but please join us back here for the live stream at 7 p.m. where together we will reaffirm our baptism, which is uh, what unites us in the death of Christ and gives us hope in resurrection. All of Lent, all of the three days, is a celebration of baptism. So that is the centerpiece of our gathering tonight. Often when we celebrate the vigil, we will end with communion, uh, the first Holy Communion of Easter. But tonight, because we have the flexibility uh, to do something else, we're actually going to keep the vigil a little bit more traditionally. And we're going to wait through the night, whether you're sleeping or up praying or reading, uh, and then we're going to join together in the first Holy Communion of Easter in the morning at 945. So I hope that you can arise with us then and celebrate the resurrection. Also, this candle, if possible, I invite you to keep burning throughout your vigil. A reminder that although we don't have the Paschal candle with us, we do have with us the risen Christ, who is with us wherever two or three are gathered in his name. And I promise you, friends, even if you are alone in your home, we are gathered together in this. Christ is with us. Thanks be to God.